secret is to never lose track of where the see the red dot exists at that same focal plane, so I don't have to. Yeah. And the target. Tactical Performance Center, the home of reactive shooting science. A multiple targets engagement and how to approach that module. Now we are talking about the pure technical transition between targets here. Do not confuse that with the tactical assessment of the, of the threat because the processes over there are a little bit different. Just the technical aspect of the transition between multiple targets is also applicable in the real life. If you already identified the multiple threats that have the equal tactical priority, that means they're in the same distance with the same kind of firearms and all of them presented an equal threat to you. When you're talking about target to target transition, we need to take under consideration three core elements and they are first vision second body movement and the third one already known principle of managing of momentum so let's talk about vision now there are three key points of vision the first key point it's called a focal yo-yo what is a focal yo-yo you have a target and you decide that you're going to present the gun towards that target. Now, at first, the focus is always on the target. Why? You need to know where to shoot at or you need to assess and evaluate if that presents an imminent threat. Once you already took the decision that you're going to engage the target, you start presenting the gun. And at the moment that that gun is about to enter the top of the slides, it's about to enter your peripheral vision, this is the point of no return. So this is the moment that you will switch that focus from the target back towards the sides. How much? It's not necessary to be completely on the front side. It must be just enough to see what you need to see to make a successful shot inside of the desired acceptable margin of error in that particular target. But basically you're shifting your focus from the target towards the side and at the moment that you engage this target then you shift it back to the next target, assess look what you need to shoot at and then shift it back towards your sights. So basically it's a target sights target sights, target sights. It's like a yo-yo. That's why we call it a focal yo-yo. The focus plays back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You have that pattern of target sights, target sights, target sights. When you use a red dot mounted on the top of the slide, that red dot is projected on the same focal plane like your target. So that means that you don't need to shift your focus back. You will see the dot superimposed on the desired area on the target. You simply leave that focus on the target. That's one of the main reasons that you can shoot faster with the red dots. You don't need to shift that focus. And probably somebody will say, yeah, but how much it will take to shift your focus. It's still a time, still can cause up to several tenths of the second. Why? Because it's a muscular contraction. What's happened there is you have a ring of muscles around your lens of the eye. So in order to shift your focus, that uh, muscle ring actually contracts and bends the lens so the light will be projected and will be focused on the retina of the eye. Now, like every single muscle in our body that can be trained to, to do that contraction faster, uh, with a simple exercise, you can shift your focus from far to near, and that's great exercise. It's like a workout for the eyes, and also that keeps your vision to stay in a good shape. Now, Louis, we're going to perform 
uh, several drills here in order to create that layers. So first of all, without the gun in your hand, I want to build your shooting stance. Shooting pad four will start first from the left target to the right. I want to build your grip. Now lift the thumb of your shooting hand and that will be your sights for now. Now keep your focus on the target. Now gradually start to lift and present that hands. Now shift your focus to your thumb. Now look at the next target. Keep your focus on the next target. Start moving towards the next target. Now shift your focus back to your thumbnail. And go back in the index position. Compress to compress low ready position. And slowly start presenting target, 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 side, 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 sides. Target, 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 side, 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 sides. Great. Let's repeat it multiple times. Now let's repeat that with your gun dry, but right now the gun is in your hand. Double check if there's nothing in the magazine well, nothing in the chamber. All right, ready and go. Target sides, target sides. Again, target sides, target sides. Now let's switch the direction from right to left. Target sides, target sides. Again, target sides, target sides. One more time. Target sides, target sides. Great. And reholster. Now it's about time to go live fire. The main focus here, the main mission is that same focal yo-yo, focus shift, target sides, target sides. Five times left to right and five times right to left. Go ahead, vote and make ready. We're going hot. That will be a live fire. Five times left to right, five times right to left. Target sides, target sides. Ready and go. Target sides, target sides. Target sides, target sides. Target sides, target sides. Excellent. Now we'll switch the directions. Now from right to left, five repetitions and go. Target side, target sides, beautiful. Target sides, target sides. Awesome job. All right, and that's the first key point of vision. Now the second one is eyes are moving first to the target and sides of the gun follows. Eyes first, sides follows. So let's go and do that with your thumbnail again, with a perfect stance, leave the thumb of your shooting hand. So look first of the target, the eyes will look at the target and then the thumb will follow. That means that the gun and the sights will follow. Eyes first, gun follows. You need to look where the sights need to arrive. Don't forget, to perform the focal yo-yo again. So it's a combination. Eyes will look first, but at the moment that the sights are about to arrive, you shift your focus back closer to the sights. It's not necessary to be entirely on the front side, but just enough that will help you to make an accurate shot. You need to gain enough information from the sights or the sights configuration just enough according to the difficulty of the target. All right, go ahead and uh, load your gun. We're going live fire. Now we'll do exactly the same thing. Three times left to right, three times right to left. Like eyes are first, sights follows. And ready, go. Eyes first, sights follows. Eyes first, sights follows. Now go ahead, let's do it from right to left. You're changing the directions. Eyes first, sides follows. Eyes first, sides follows. The last key point of vision will fall the previous two points. You have our focal yo-yo eyes first, sights follows. If I imagine that my vision is attached to the sights of the gun with an invisible bungee cord and I keep my sights always in my peripheral vision, when I look to the next target, I force the gun to travel 
a little bit behind but still in my peripheral vision so when i look there check where is the position of my gun at that point it's covered like three fourths of that entire transition distance so that is going to speed up the actual transition time and the sights will arrive exactly where my eyes are looking at let's do and follow our routine one more time first we're going to use the thumb of our shooting hand eyes first thumb follows but always keep it in your peripheral vision it's like invisible bungee cord very good now let's switch the directions invisible bungee cord and let's repeat the same routine now using the sights in instead of your thumbnail and let's shift the direction from right to left you keep that sights in your peripheral vision never let them leave that peripheral vision now let's go and load the gun make ready we'll go to the live fire exercise three times left to right three times right to left applying the first two key points focal yo-yo and eyes first uh, sights follows but right now we'll focus to our main mission which is to always keep that sights in the peripheral vision they are attached with the invisible bungee cord to your vision and go very good now let's switch from right to left invisible bungee cord and go excellent so that's the three key points of vision focal yo-yo eyes first sights follows always keep the sights attached to your vision with the invisible bungee cord <laughs>